This is a brief guide to the propaganda activity undertaken by students. Just a brief description of each of the sources that you're looking at. So we have the picture of Hitler uh, from early 1933, 1934, with him leading the German people. And then one of the often overlooked aspects of German Nazi propaganda, the development of the Volkswagen, the people's car, Herbie. The source here is of ship workers watching the launch of a Nazi ship, everyone giving the Nazi salute bar one individual, who I believe is that gentleman there, conspicuously folding his arms and not giving the Hitler salute. On the theme of religion, an altar in a German Lutheran, a Protestant church, where eventually the swastika replaced the crucifix. Election day in Nazi Germany, Nazi volunteers outside a polling booth, Joseph Goebbels, the Minister of Propaganda, leaving. Have a please note, Joseph Goebbels was slightly handicapped with a club foot. The Motherhood Cross, awarded to women in Nazi Germany who bore enough children as a reward, a medal that they could wear. And a painting of the ideal German family, the ideal Nazi family. A simple life, a rural agricultural life. Plenty of children. Then some additional sources. Hitler describing the Nazi flag back in 1924, so after the Munich Putsch. Followed by the Army Oath of Loyalty, if you recall, given in August 1934 upon the death of Hindenburg. A description written by one of Hitler's personal assistants, so someone who would work closely with Hitler. And then some evidence about what was going on in a place called Grafenek Asylum, a place where children were sent. Children with handicaps, um, children with disabilities, children with issues that the Nazis led them to believe didn't fit in. Another Nazi article, orders from the propaganda ministry, so a government document from 1935, so that's a year into Hitler's rule. A speech by Hitler, and then some graphs here on Nazi economic fortunes within Germany. Um, income and expenditure of the government and production and unemployment statistics. Please be aware with this data that obviously the Nazis come to power in 1933. Anything before that date would have obviously been the responsibility of the violence. Moving on then. Hitler uh, attending a, a wedding, surrounded by children, opposite a picture of one of the death pits at Belsen photographed by the British Army after the invasion of Germany in 1945. A Nuremberg rally, interesting again, photographed in colour, as the Nazis were very prone to do. And one of Hitler's great um, propaganda triumphs, the 1936 Berlin Olympics, but of course the image that everyone remembers from that is the black American athlete Jesse Owens winning the 100 metres sprint. A British cartoon based upon the events of the Night of the Long Knives in 1934, and a poster of the Hitler Youth, the young Aryan boy in the shadow of the Fuhrer. Then your final sources then. A poster of the anti-Semitic film The Eternal Jew, The ideal sports lesson, physical education in a school. Girls participating in physical exercise, keeping fit in readiness for the burden of motherhood. The ideal German girl. A recruitment poster here for the League of German Maidens, the female equivalent of the Hitler Youth. And a photograph of one of the death camps at the end of the Second World War. And I suppose the most powerful propaganda image of the Nazis, a picture of their swastika. Hitler wearing glasses, at rest, relaxing at home. Children, loyally giving the Hitler salute. And a publicity shot of Hitler giving one of his speeches. Please use these sources to fulfil the task that your teacher has set for you.